Bitcoin is hitting 2019 highs and the momentum keeps going. So are we going to see a repeat of 2017 when Bitcoin was seen as stealing gold thunder? Here to settle the Bitcoin versus gold debate. Is there one? Frank Holmes, CEO of U.S. Global Investors, joins me now in studio. Frank, thank you so much for joining us. I know you were just at Consensus. You ran, ran over here down to Wall Street to join me. In the rain. Thank you. I didn't know it was raining out, so I appreciate that. Look at Bitcoin go. Is it back? Well, you know, Bitcoin peaked when they came up with the futures market. And Bitcoin bottomed when JP Morgan came up with their coin. So they trash talked Bitcoin all the way down until February of this year when they unleashed their coin. All of a sudden, we had a bottom in Bitcoin. But what's important during this whole year is that even though the price fell 80 to 90 percent, depending on the coins, you had an increase of wallets that are people buying Bitcoin. And that's always a, gets ready for the next bull cycle. And that most of this correction was not because of debt leverage, like a housing crisis or uh, other events we've had where they last four years. So this one can be a year and we're slowly climbing out of it. And it's becoming an alternative asset class like gold. What do you think is fueling it? I read you know, one analyst who suggested that because of the mounting Chinese-US trade war, a lot of Chinese are looking to get their money out of China, putting it in Bitcoin, and this is what's really fueling it right now. Um, I don't know, you know, I, that's, that's a good speculation. I think that China says they're gonna shut down all the operations. That's where the real abuse of energy, coal energy is used for that, whereas the stuff that we mine is always with geothermal energy, mm -hmm. uh, like in Iceland. Right or hydroelectricity in a northern part of Sweden. But I, I think that I recommend to people all times that Bitcoin is not an alternative to gold. And I'm happy you're bringing this up because I'm sure you've seen the hashtag drop gold and there's this debate or you know they were promoting, you know, leave your gold, it's, it's a thing of the past, Bitcoin is the future. And I, I read somewhere you wrote, you know, as much as I think Bitcoin has a bright future, it's no replacement for gold. So why do you think people like pitting these two asset classes against each other when I personally, you know, really see two different functions and uses here? I think there's a whole audience of ignorant uh, <laughs> millennials. Okay. I, I really think, you know, from uh, having work habit problems that I find out from people trying to hire them, uh, for the whole world is sort of rebellion against anything and everything. Um, it, it's just foolish. Uh, but they should do their homework. They should open up a history book of why gold is so significant, uh, why the great love trade, that if you love your country, you should have gold in reserves. So if you have a crisis of being intact, your paper money goes down in tremendous value. Gold is what bailed out Britain, getting it over to Canada, and then trading to get weapons from America. It was gold that did it. So you are wearing beautiful gold, can't wear a digital currency on your neck, you know, it's, unless there's a gold copying a Bitcoin. Now, I think they're very different, but they're alternative asset classes. Yeah, that's really well said, Frank, and especially coming from you, because you, you deal in the crypto world with, with Hive, obviously, and obviously you're a huge proponent of gold. So let's talk about gold run up this week. Uh, looking, looking good here, would you say? I think it's just doing its beautiful thing. You know, it's a fear trade right now uh, of the trade war, but I think rates are going to fall. I think we're going to have these negative. Re Take a look at Europe. You know, that massive EU has negative real interest rates. There's no hope of them rising. Uh, and I think that they're idiots over there. Honestly, disrespectful in one way it sounds like it, but really, how can you have all this negative printing of money in Europe, you better buy gold and you better back up the truck and have that minimum 10% golden rule. And it doesn't matter if you're a retail or you're institutional. Do you, what are your thoughts on silver? Because you and I, we never really talk about silver. It's, it's, it's sleeping right now. But do you like silver? When you're in the crypto world, Ethereum is like silver is to gold, which is Bitcoin. Mm. Silver has a greater volatility to it. It's one and a half times whatever gold is. So gold goes up 10%, expect a 15% run in silver. Gold falls 10%, expect a 15% drop in silver. So there's an inflection point that all of a sudden silver kicks in. And I'm always an advocate, buy silver coins, give them away for presents. Don't give, because kids all will keep that silver coin. And who knows, one day. And if you were like in Cyprus, uh, you couldn't get your ATM machine, guess what? Those silver coins gave you economic power. 
Frank, finally, I know you were just at consensus. What was the vibe like there? Tell us, was there great energy? Was it like other years? No, it was, you know, subdued. Uh, you know, so this not is quite there yet. No, it's good. It's subdued because you've come out of the trough and people are still War fragile. Wounds. War wounds. They don't so it's believe like P it. PDAC 20, 2012. Yes. <laughs> and, and so I think this is a positive sign for for the, the cryptocurrencies all to trade higher. What happens when Facebook comes out with their cryptocurrency? Would two billion people all of a sudden be able to use that for, uh, right. backed by US dollars most likely? And, and Whole Foods coming out saying they're accepting uh, a crypto payment now. And yes, and they could come up with their own stable coin. It's just a matter of time. Who wins in this race? I don't know. But remember, ask Jeeves when the internet first yes. started. Well, that's history. Yahoo, well, that's history. Google won. So I don't know who's going to win in this race, but digital money is of the future. Wow, you just brought me back to 1999. <laughs> Frank Holmes, thank you so much. Surprise having you in studio today. It's great to be Love with you. you stop I miss your energy. Yeah, sending it your way. Thank you so much, Frank. And thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.